So I did a whole bunch of grinding. Um, I actually, right when I started off, I was like, I'm gonna start off in a town and I got stupid somethings under attack. Um, but I did a whole bunch of grinding since last time. Um, Cody mastered, uh, I masked everyone that was a thief potential mastered all of the thief abilities. They all masked both Cody and the other human mastered all the ninja abilities. Cody mastered all of the paladin abilities. Um, he's a sage now. He also mastered everything that I could give him on other classes. He's mastered all the archer. Lots of grinding was done, basically. Um, ideally, that will keep it so I don't have to grind as much during between streams. Um, it's kind of an odd, like a non-scene thing is that a lot of grinding gets done between the streams because I just want to make sure I'm not focusing a ton of time on that type of thing. Um, challenges. Petrify elementals and steel. What does his what is his stuff? Because I may want to steal it. That might be a bad thing. That's like all I do anymore, is steal stuff. <laughs> yes, I want to steal. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that that's a no-go. So unfortunately, I, I honestly, I think anything that gets under attack while I'm streaming is just going to fall. Love Charm and Danish Animals, it's perfect. There's no animals. Basically reaching point though that the main cast is not going to be, um, it's not really going to be doing anything grinding wise. Like Higgins is sort of doing some things, but not a lot. Let's steal his weapon immediately. This, I, I just need to see if it's actually possible. I'm not going to do it right away. No, okay, good. He's actually immune to something. However, is he not immune to this? Yeah, let's go with this and see what happens. This basically went up the fight. Not that it's much of one as is. Everything. <laughs> it's basically kind of basic. That's more or less the ammo at this point. Does he have anything else that's worthwhile? Nope. Meaning, he can die. Actually, I should probably avoid, because he's a fighter, I should probably avoid grouping like that.
Yeah, I think the main party is basically set on how they're going to do it. There's going to be some changes, like when I get the target bow, I'm going to get concentrate on my assassin, but for the most part, it's not going to change overly much. I'm also, like, stupidly overleveled, I think, again. Because I suspect this is supposed to be a decent challenge, and it's just not. Like, this might be. He might kill. No, he's not even gonna kill. Oh, that's because I stole his weapon. No, I'm, not. I'm, like, talking all this trash about him, and it's like, no, it's because I weakened him immediately. I honestly forgot the game was even loading. That. Nope. Go away. Ah, oh, crap. He, he, they, I'm just gonna run. I'm just straight up going to flee. I just don't care. But I just do not. Like, these missions are just so... Okay. I think I get the option right away. Yep, bye. Hey, I have a pretty tight schedule of what I want to do today. And I'm not dealing with these just random crappy encounters. I definitely... That's actually pretty good. This isn't the worst either. This is still not the worst. Because I don't use many skills. Just in case, gunmanship, fight, and skills. Perfect. assassinate the one dragon right there. Thankfully, Odette goes pretty early. 
because it doesn't have the highest chance on dragons. It's not terrible. Nice. I feel like air renders. I'm just gonna try to spread them out. I feel like a fire of some weak to lightning. Lightning's weak to fire. Wait, no, ice is. I guess lightning's weak to ice? I guess. That's actually, like, ideal. As long as he doesn't kill Odette. survives the turn. That's a borderline ideal. That's also really odd on how you move into that. I guess I'll try to assassinate the fire dragon. What am I doing? Wait, is Oh. It is because I have two weapons attached. I also realized my thought process there was flawed. I should have always been trying to assassinate the lightning one. The lightning one's with the ice, which is the only attack I don't have the super super to go against.
it's not surprising, it's just I'm surprised, honestly, that it took me so long to notice that. And they won't kill, but it'll come close. I think I counted it out that I only have to do... It's not that many, which is good. It's like... I'm trying to think. It was like 11 or something like that? Combat missions? Or 12? Or... So, the tricky part is 18. Is If I would try to do 18, 19, and 20 today, I would only have to do like 14 missions, I think. Because I looked up and there's not actually a lot of missions in um, between some of them. Because I think... I'm assuming 20 is just straight up the same thing 15 was, in which you just enter the town. Which means that there's virtually no missions that could cause when you hit 19. So, doing mission 18, which is the one I'm on... Will basically... Unlock the Majul. I, I hate this unit kind of thing. I almost want to recruit as many as I can and just not care about them at all. Um, the light robe, I feel like, does something. Ha. Oh, okay. So the contingent battles.
And I was going to try to get all of them back. I hate when it does that. I, I wish it would just sacrifice all of them. I wish I could set it so that I would do that. This actually is a mission I wasn't anticipating, so I'm not 100% sure how the, where this leaves me. This guy is the one that I'm going to probably get super mad at. Okay. The 
set up to this level using the last amount we desired. Oh, I, I always forget she has a bow and doesn't need to be next to people. <laughs> Bosses get buffed in the next game because they're super weak in this game. Like they're super reliant on environment. And I don't remember if they did or not. Like, they really deserved one. I didn't think that was water. That's why I was coming over here. That should kill. And I don't think it was a leader. Good job. Not my fault. That's not my home. I, I I go I was going this whole time thinking that was it. I forgot. <laughs> well, I just blatantly forgot the one archer. Right here. I love how you get your last one, like, over there, like... That's 
not call them dead because it's the, the not dead, but the basically dead or something. It's confusing. The judges basically don't allow death to happen, but death happens. It's basically the implication. Spears and petrify. That is perfect. Don't you dare stay here. Perfect. That was a game of chicken I don't want to lose. How many days left is this until this dies? 26. That's plenty. I want your dragon mail. Ooh, I want your armor. And Lazar, tug it all, spears, and petrified. Really easy laws to comply with. Wait, like, did you just blatantly just say that? Like, you were intending to help this dude, and just then decided, you know what, nah. Oh yeah, I forgot Mono Blank's a Black Mage right now. He'd be really slow. Dang. <laughs> I mean, come right to me. Since 
Dickens has all the thief stuff. I'll have him try to steal here. Because he's the most useful person to do it right from the front. Might as well be dead because it's okay. See, this always throws me off. Does he need to fire? Like, what is the elemental difference? Sorry, I had a story start getting told to me. <laughs> so I can just kill this guy. Yes, I can. Give me your things. Thank <laughs> you. 
I will do that if that will kill. It will kill. Wait, why is Cody immune to fire? I don't actually know. I literally just discovered something that I didn't know about my own team. My own person's... Oh, I have something. Um... Sure, that looks good. The one character is immune to fire attacks, and I have no clue why. <laughs> oh. I didn't know that. It's going good. I've uh, been slowly trying to stream through the whole game. Actually, I've been pretty rampant, rampant on its pace. Yeah, that it is a lot of money. I've done a ton of grinding off stream because I wasn't sure how I wanted things to do and I never wanted to have to grind on stream. So instead, I've basically done that all off stream and never bought anything. So that's an excessive amount of money. <laughs> like, you only need money to buy items in the shop that are basically worthless at this point, because the shop has stopped selling anything good, and to buy the information on um, quests, but I have a million dollars, a million gold, and the quests cost like a couple thousand each. So yeah. <laughs> There, there's no need for money at this point. Um, how to get there without going to battle? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I'm just gonna straight run from any random encounter at this point. I've done too many. <laughs> my, my goal is to get through three of the remaining seven missions in this stream. And these stupid random battles do not help that quest. <laughs> so instead I get this sad quest failed thing. <laughs> I just have no interest in dealing with that. Nor do I have any interest in dealing with the places that come under attack at this point. Like, normally you would go and defend them. Defend their honor. <laughs> but at this point, it's happening so frequently, I would basically never get anything done. Because <laughs> right now I have two places under attack. <laughs> I have this one, and I have this one, which I've been ignoring for a few days now. Because <laughs> the thing is, is you can actually do those as a dispatch mission without literally ever engaging anything, and it takes, like, nothing at all to do it. Or I can spend a bunch of time doing a battle. However, it looks like, annoyingly, they're not going to give me battles, because things are under attack. Time to destroy everything in existence. <laughs> I don't know what my laws are, though. Crap. I shouldn't have gotten into this. <laughs> Knives, corner, and color magic. Well, he can kill things.
Well, actually, no. Doesn't someone have ten? Yes. All I have to do is hope that that guy doesn't have, um... How it doesn't have match... His level doesn't match the day of the week. Because if it does, I die immediately. <laughs> So, they actually have decent rewards, and in, if I wasn't doing a ton of the grinding... Oh crap, someone has the level of... <laughs> so, if I wasn't doing a ton of grinding as it was, I would actually probably do them all the time. The problem... because they, they offer a lot of skill points. Um, the problem is, is that... That's basically not a reward for my party at this point, because I've been doing a bunch of grinding off-stream. So, it doesn't matter to me as much. In a normal gameplay, they're actually useful. Because every time you get one, you get, I think it's 80 skill points, which the average battle is only 40 or 50. So, they're actually useful in normal gameplay. It's just, mine has been skewed because I didn't want to have to do any grinding on stream. Because I think they also give you, like, clan points, and it's generally useful, but it's mine's just the one case when it's not really useful. It's also probably real annoying real late game, since by that point you probably established the teams entirely. It's the entire reason this guy got blocked here. To unleash dragon attack. <laughs> Yeah, the, there's a... every 10 kills you get... well, every kill you get, you get a judge point. And if you have 10 of them saved up, you can do a race-specific, like, final attack. If you unlock them during the story. And two of the race-specific attacks are terrible, because they attack... well, not terrible, but situational. Because they attack MP instead of HP. I find them useless, but... They technically do have uses, it's just very... F I always think it's easy, it's better to ha attack, have large attacks of HP than the MP, because you win the battle instead of just making the battle easier. But some battles, I guess it makes sense. But you could also use those judge points for combos for, I think, one. But I think it uses all of them. Which is really annoying basically disincentize his keeping them. Okay, that's just annoying. Time to go to a new town. Okay, I do I at least have one mission. Petrified and Elementals. Perfect. Have you played any of these 
either, I guess either of the, but technically there's a PlayStation game too, but any of the Final Fantasy games before? Because this is not the good one. <laughs> like, <laughs> that sounds weird, but this is not the good one. <laughs> it's not bad, but it has some uh, definitive flaws. <laughs> And the most primary one are these laws, which basically if you break these laws, you face a penalty. And if you kill while breaking one of these laws, you get sent to jail and your unit is removed from battle entirely. And then you have to skip two battles and all sorts of stupid fun. And if your main character is sent to jail, you lose the battle straight. Alright. It's really tedious. In the second game, they don't punish you for breaking the laws. They reward you for keeping them, but they don't punish you for breaking them. And it's honestly just a ton better. <laughs> Combined with a bunch of quality of life updates, um, just a better overall world building. Oddly, the story I don't think is as good. So I think the story is better in this game, and everything else is better in the second game. Except, unfortunately, the gameplay is so much better in the second game that it basically makes this not that good of a game. <laughs> It's funny, I, um, when I started this game up a long time ago, like, when I was in middle school, I had lent this game to a friend. His save file is still saved on, the, like, the side B of this cartridge. <laughs> so I immediately had to, like, message him, telling him that I had found his, found his save file. <laughs> I don't know what happened to- it's real- it's weird, he's like- he was like two missions away from 100%ing the game, and didn't 100% it. I have no idea why. I didn't look to see which two he wasn't doing. Uh, I can wait, can I kill the... No. This character is basically a nuke if he can hit anything. <laughs> He's designed to have no subtlety whatsoever. He has, like, no staying power either, so... He can only do his attack, like, twi three times in a battle, but... Anything he hits dies. basically not break them. <laughs> Bella is completely throwing a tantrum in the other room.
My team is super weirdly designed, though. It is designed to either completely blitz things, or to steal everything people have. <laughs> like, half of my team has abilities to steal stuff. And, like, all of the major missions, I always, like, find one person that's, like, loaded with valuable stuff and just take everything. <laughs> it's not evil. It's being an opportunist. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> and I, I, I can say nothing. I lurk on. That's like all I watch Twitch as. I'm basically an eternal lurker to most streams. alive for long. Blatantly throwing a tantrum. Try assassinate the bug. Thank you. 
I'm really tempted to go check what Belly's freaking out about. <laughs> So I think also, looking at, I think this next, the mission that this one unlocks, I think, is the last mission I need for basically complete my main character's build. I think. Because I don't think at this point he needs any other abilities. Maybe a better armor, but... It's not a huge deal if he doesn't get that. after the, these guys move up. Why are you attacking, like, strategically speaking, why are you attacking the back row person? Like, they're the least threatening of positions. Like, better move, but not... Well, actually, this probably is a better move. Just straight up. Not that it worked, but because the other guy can actually hit all four. Or, you know, not. I, I guess that works too. I don't know why, but that, that works too. assassinate the ice dragon. Having a totem is actually potentially very useful. I don't know what the losses of the next upcoming mission is. There's some theft opportunities. <laughs> Has that thing moved yet? Is this the first time it moved? <laughs> Apparently the one dragon is going to talk. Okay. <laughs> it's about what I was expecting. <laughs> I'm honestly glad that dis didn't disappoint. 
if I had actually spoke, I would have been a little upset. Oh wait, before I do this attack... Perfectly legal. things than the other one does? I don't really know. Okay, um, the cave. How many days left? 22. Okay, plenty of time. Plenty of time. I'll save the cave. I have... I'm a little bit... Probably ahead of schedule, to be honest. Wait, didn't Higgins master something? Have I just been wasting all this? I will at least give someone additional time. Let's... I think I was working on you. Yeah, you can come around. laws. I think fights against the law, right? Yes. Win gunmanship and fight. I almost broke the law immediately. <laughs> and I also remember that Blitz is better than Air Ender. Or Rush is better than Air Ender. That guy's going to die, so... So is this guy. Nice. He came close. Oh, that's conflicting, though. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Perfect. <laughs> wait, why didn't he get rushed? Is there a spot here? There it is. <laughs> Uh, 
does he do on Viagra? A oh, decent amount. <laughs> Enough that I'm not going to complain. Good job, Higgins protege. You may not have the magical power plus, but you have everything else. <laughs> Oh great, he's using Resonance. Oh no, he's just... Oh, because he can't do anything but fight. Okay, that's kind of annoying still, though. I think I established Air Render is better than Four Fist by a very small amount. Blitz is definitely better than both. Oh, Rush is definitely better than both of them, though. Now that, especially now that I have the two weapon attachment, it's not even comparable. Does that thing just have horrible evasion? Why is everything so high percentage? Not that I'm complaining about it, but it just feels like a naturally easy to do anything against it. the last of them. Oh no, no, this was Defend the Cave, never mind. <laughs> I do have entirely different mission left. I forgot that I actually went decided to go out of my way. Skills, Knives, and Corner. Fine. Uh, that's actually not great. Let's go over here. That's much better. I'm gonna run from the stupid encounter first, but... I don't think there's any punishment from losing battles, so I don't think this means anything. Like, this battle, at least. There is punishment to losing certain battles, but this one, I don't think there's anything. And if it is, it's so tiny that it doesn't matter. Looks like, uh... Frog Knight Swords in haste. Onward. Interwebs. What is you do? Stay home.
and Satya can come in. I feel like I'm probably not supposed to that easily get into the defenses here. If I remember right, that attack is like hilariously brutal in the second game. <laughs> like, doesn't it summon a Grim Reaper in front of them and he like literally comes in and takes their soul? <laughs> it's like shockingly brutal. <laughs> I guess the, the mages probably can't come down. I just realized that. I wonder does that count as a it probably doesn't count as a magic. Yeah. Are you really attacking the thief? Oh god, I was going to say that would have been ridiculously dumb if you were. Well, time to incinerate the time mage. Oh wait, I didn't turn off Wi-Fi, did I? Probably stop that connection flicker. I say probably because I don't know if it actually will or not. And victory. <laughs> oh, I, I think I can do this actually. Doesn't that guarantee a hit here? Oh, it doesn't. He's immune. It would, but he's immune. 
This is guaranteed, though. Like, I love how it doesn't complete the story, and I don't think there's any mission regarding that again. Like, it just literally ends on a cliffhanger. I want to look, because I think this is a really powerful blade. Yeah. It's obviously not the best um, set, though. They are definitely better mid matching. God dang it. <laughs> but, from a um, thematic point of view, I really do like that set. I understand that there are better ones. Um, objectively speaking, there are better. Like, isn't a Paladin technically the best from an offensive perspective? Well, the best from a pure power perspective because of Excalibur 2 or something like that. I think Quiet Sands is the next one. I think you really want to make sure steel. Isn't it this guy? Yeah. Spheres petrify an elemental. That is perfect. We'll stave. I think this is a multi-part mission that I don't want to get stuck on some stupid second part. I'm pretty sure this is that fast.
How come he can summon people? I... F I think it's really early in the month. I think that's the only thing that's going to save me here. Because I just remembered that um, those things have a really obnoxious ability. that I definitely did not account for. The starting position is really bad, too. What day of the month is it? Oh, that's great. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, I can actually do this, I think. Wait a minute. Um... Crap. I want to steal, so I don't want to use Totem. And Cody can auto revive, so I mean, it, it should be fine, right? <laughs> the starting point is so trashy, though. doesn't matter which way you go. That's actually ideal somewhat. Well, kind of, because if Cody dies, do I lose the mission? It's a good question. Those two I think I want to steal from one of them, and I want to steal a couple things from the main dude here. So which one do I want to steal from? You. Unfortunately, the fairies have super high evasion, which makes this worse. Hopefully, though... Okay, that'll kill one of them. Not super ideal, because he... Um... 
basically just wait, I guess. Hopefully she doesn't use that a bunch of times in a row. Okay, good. Only 30 crap. Well, let's go for it. This map setup is really non-conducive to um, to a nice stealing setup. Well, I literally never... Hopefully... Does this just end? It does. That is unfortunate. really I'm on borderline wanting to reset but I don't know if there's anything that can really go differently because of how terrible that setup is he literally only has two turns to get to him I see why quicken is recommended in sleep yeah I, I see This would have honestly been almost better had it not transformed. Actually, I just realized this would have been so messed up if your brother reincarnated as that crystal. Like, your brother is the crystal. And, like, it is his body, basically. That would be s that would have been so messed up. I have a belly joining me. Do I have a belly? Can you join? My. My. I know. Oh, 
Ay, este coco. Ay, no. Te voy a comer a mí. basically just recommended to never even bother with these um, vampires, since they would just revive themselves. Still a lot of damage. Like, why does it look like a clown and then it has a really cool design like that? And start crossing illusionist's ability. A really, really weak version of it. This will quickly, pretty quickly, and um, Silent Sands. I think the way this is set up is this does indicate this does pretty much go straight into um, the next mission because I don't think there's much unlocked after mission 18. I think most of the unlocking happens after mission. If I remember it properly. It may not be, but a lot. I thought a lot got unlocked right when you finished 20. Because I think 20 is the. when you unlock the last. Um, town. Probably a bad sign. Why does it do so little? Like, like that could have been such a devastating attack, and instead it was like super weak and pathetic. times the last couple minutes.
Because again, I think Cody's gonna finish the turn on the next battle. Well, is he? Yeah. There's almost no way he doesn't. This is such an awkward position. I guess there was a way, but it actually is probably worse. But he did actually kill someone. I'll give him credit that that hasn't happened in a few minutes. A few little bit. Except he also left himself wide open for this. And this is when you figure out that there's something else going on. Oh yeah. That's what's weird. Like, it, it, it feels like Mute Borderline didn't get what he really wanted. Which I guess kind of is the point, maybe. Like, that's probably why he's pretty easy to convince otherwise. to be something else to this. Because I didn't get an icon. I was worried for a moment there. So I think the palace is gonna go here, like the last... The palace is gonna go here. The jag is gonna go up here. Isn't there the palace?
cave, the gorge, and Amberville or whatever. Palace. So this is going to be the mountain. This is going to be the palace. That's going to be that. So that's going to be the cave. And that's going to be the blue. I think the palace should be right here. I feel like that makes more sense. Level 17 is the minimum. the rat tail, and I definitely want that item. Faceless dolls. on someone. Let's go with Monty. Okay. Showdown.
Um, this actually has an instant win condition. I want to do it, but I don't at the same time. Instruments, techniques, and talk at all. So I actually still get the battle. <laughs> I think this is the one where I used to use the teleporting shoes to get up top. I like lay down, lay back, lean back, and instantly, there goes my headphones again. at all. I don't know what the other one is. Hopefully I didn't break a lot. Yeah. decision bomb thing. That was an equally bad decision. Sword turtle thing. Though the summoner deciding she wanted to go and do one damage is uh, not a high level decision either. Thank you. 
Nothing has to be significantly high level to avoid taking less than like 150 damage. So this is actually a mission I'm interested in, because I feel like this mission, specifically, you could actually realistically have to do after the main story fallout with, with Ritz, because, but before the final boss, like, I think that would be actually realistic in this case. I love how swift that looks. Oh yeah, it's like Just making it difficult to plug it. I bought a line, felt like I should have attacked the white mage in, in addition. Probably been fitting and deserved. <laughs> what is up with people wanting to go in to do one damage? Like, couldn't you have literally done. the exact um, requirements. Because, like, you could realistically get this dialogue after having completed the game if you didn't complete any of the submissions. Like, all of the submissions. Yes, Barrette is better. I feel like Lordy Row.
20 days. Okay, I need to get some of my people back from missions, which is basically obnoxiously means that I need to, um, I need dash boots, and I think there might be one that I didn't buy that a summoner uses, but I didn't. So I need 12 more enemies, 11 more days, 6 more days, 7 more enemies, 4 more enemies, okay. basically a lot of back and forth, and then hope that I don't get some stupid battle in between. Um, katana, skills, and damage to animals, who is this? Ooh, that's... Really bad. Just run away. That's all I'm going to do, because I can't complete this battle. I can literally not complete this. Of course everyone is fast in the code. That would have actually been a really good timing had it not been impossible because of the condition. Because I actually need a couple of those battles. Like, three of them. Ooh, I got Shell Rod, though. I feel like I don't have the quality for that yet.
played some in the taste, but that's fine. Basically just Cody can't attack, which is completely fine, because Cody does a lot of other things. <laughs> Summon haste, and honestly, I'm just gonna with clay. I'm gonna try out the totem. Oh, lovely internet. What does you do? Played some in haste. I really didn't care about the um, condition. Never miss damage, except arrows can literally not damage this person. I do not remember what the totem for, um, 
just do... I think it's a damage one. Okay, I remember this now. How does Tapeam do so little damage to me, but so much damage when I use it? Because I don't think it's any different. Thank you for literally getting the only way that counter would work. That's like a super weird... I'm not even going to question AI there. Oh, that was it. Nice. Good job, Monty. I had huge doubts in you. Way to prove me wrong. <laughs> Don't I have another mission that has the... the chill rod coming? Katana's skill and damage to animals, I don't think I can do that, because I'm pretty sure there's animals in that. Broadswords, copycat, and saber, that will be annoying, but I think I can do it. Well, it didn't matter. Wait, way, way to go, I was counting on that. Showdown, though. I'm just gonna do the showdown. Let me look at items that I have. I want to make sure I'm gonna steal the right stuff in this next upcoming battle.
The assassin's the only thing I need to steal stuff from, and I really don't need to steal it, because it's shields that I don't use. I would like it, but it's not the end of the world if I don't get it. Okay, where is it? It's probably somewhere that I'm going to have trouble. Hunting, status, and color magic. Missile instruments and tech things. That's not the best, so I'm going to definitely save. But it probably was. I think this is the last of the missions before the next major mission, if I remember correctly. I can look through. No, there is another one. Not a lot, though. I just haven't gotten to the right pub. pub for that one. So... Missiles, instruments, techniques. have to remember the laws, because <laughs> I need to remember not to use techniques, because I'm so ingrained in using them. Yeah, it looks like the person I even care about. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Because I have to attack directly. Which is fine, I mean, like, Cody does a ton more damage that way. Cody is stealing because theft is grand. Because I want this shield.
Eh, sure, why not? <laughs> Breaks no law, and I get some. I'll probably do a decent amount of damage to the mob when I. And maybe the alchemist. Neither I don't. Oh, wait. He's just weak. Never mind. Eh, it's still game experience. I forgot it's based on levels. And yeah. He's just so much weaker than everyone else that it won't matter. Oh, well. He tried. Pedro tried. It also may not be based on a stat. I'm not 100% sure how it works. I would not be stunned if it's based off of, like, attack, and his attack's, like, super low, so it doesn't work. I also probably just... well, maybe. I don't know how the summoner's range works. If I get in trouble on this mission, though, it is pure greed. Because I could have killed the summoner. <laughs> I mean, I could have killed the assassin. Oh no, I'm going to kill her. <laughs> ah, that is so upsetting. <laughs> How dare you ruin my greed. <laughs> Curse you, game. faith in you. I have the utmost faith and you disappointed me, so prove me wrong.
it would be really funny if you just attacked Cody and died. See, Monteblanc, you disappointed. How could you die? I think I made that for something. I don't know what causes those to refresh. Okay, it's a new month, so hopefully... Proud, Pedro. Um, I 
Well, I mean, if hot status and color man. It's fine. Death probably gets considered a status, though. But that means murder is perfectly fine. <laughs> Which is a specialty of these three. And... So that I can actually be productive here. like the qualification to be accepted onto this team. How good at Moto are you? <laughs> Must be this good. Go take out the innocent. <laughs> This bow is strong. Wow. status and color match. Is dead a status? Oh, 
Oh, nice. I think I can get to him by that. Oh, This bow is super strong. I'm like real happy I got this. Um, I'm pretty sure this is also a renewable mission. I, I hate that it just took that route. This has a super weird um, condition on it. Instruments, techniques, and all at all. That's a bad set. Target all blades and summon. That's not great either. Summon haste and stop is very good. Now, the problem here, and I'm gonna run from this mission, is you can't let the person die. And it's really awkward, because they're not very good. So, my thought is 
is to probably spam totems. Um, but I'm definitely gonna save, because the issue is, is that she's level 15 and going against a bunch of high mid-20s. And I don't know where she starts. And I don't even know if it necessarily matters where she starts. Because as long as it's not too far away, I don't think it matters, because I don't think she's going to be smart. Okay, summon a haste and stop. Cody can totem, Dickens can totem. Raval can not totem, but it doesn't really matter. Cadet can butt people. Oh, that's high. That must most I can do, so it's fine. Hopefully, she actually gets back. Like that'd be an ideal one. If I can pull him a wall. It'll be fine. Well, they actually probably still can get down. So I'm not going to even bother with the wall. So basically, at this point, I just need her to live one attack. Because the fairy will die the next turn. I need her to run away. If she does that, if do don't, don't go next to people. That is the one thing that can get you in trouble.
<sighs> I hate stupid CPUs. The AI there had to have just known. That would have been a terrible idea. Oh, let's do this anyway. Okay. So, that is it for all the missions up until Meteor right now. Which has some things to steal, but not a ton. Oh, actually, there's a ribbon, there's a Madu. These greens are replaceable. Okay, basically one last look and have my internet up. get that. Target all in blade, that's C plus. Blade summon in haste. Do you mind, game? Okay, are, are you kidding? I got it! Everyone's under attack. <laughs> nope, I'm not dealing with any of that. They can all fall. <sighs> like, seriously, like... 
We have three places under attack now. This is just wasting time. <laughs> like, it doesn't attribute to the gameplay at all. Hey, stop it, Holy. Okay. Everyone just straight up prepare to die. I'm not I'm not playing I'm not playing games here. Like there's no con contributing factor here to the gameplay whatsoever, other than just stalling time. Like that's the only thing this entire sequence accomplishes. It's just wasting time. Like, I'm pretty sure in the second game, one of the mechanics is that once you free an entire... Like, it's broken up differently, because there's, like, areas of worlds instead of just, like... Instead of an overworld, there's, like, subsections, which are broken down even further. And once you free an entire area, it's just free. It's yours. It's not, it's not going to suddenly get under attack. Um, you keep all the advantages of being a freed, and that's it. In this one, they constantly do this, and I'm pretty sure the way that the RNG is written means that it's more likely to shame them like it just did to me. Where, like, instead of getting one under attack once a month, if you, you'll you get none for, like, three months, and then all of a sudden you'll get ten. I mean, nah, not ten, but, like, like, three, like this. Oh well. Oh, 
Well, of course, I want to be as far away as possible. Is it Berserk Katana skills? Damage anyone with fire? I can. Bizarre. Because what's hurting here is that I really want to finish Meteor right now and present day, um, which are the two remaining missions before I end the stream. I'm playing an ending around 11. Oh my god, she doesn't have reflex. Terrible choice. <laughs> Get in range of something.
skills. Is there a katana some skills? Okay. So I can use techniques all I want. On status and television, that should be fine. I think what's happening there is my internet is actually just dropping. Does he still have the Thunder Warrior in a cache? That'd be unfortunate. He does. Okay. Moment of truth. Is this status? It is not, thank God. I was prepared for some bullshit. Send my other one. I mean, oh well, it doesn't matter. I'm 
just confused by my didn't realize he wasn't in. I mean, technically speaking, this is probably a better option because I gained experience, but I was kind of at the point of not caring anymore. A quick and sudden death. I'm going to play this stupid dancing game. This other... Summon haste and stop. That is, like, perfect. Oh, I'm not even... I'm not. I just, I just threw a little tantrum about that just a minute ago. I'm not dealing with that. Okay. So the summoner is useless, the white mage is useless, the elementarist, the wed mage, and the sniper I'm stealing from. Assassin, I'm Summon haste and stop. Oh, that was really unfortunate for you, assassin. Because I really have no interest in you. Actually, I mean, she's here. So I might as well steal some stuff. Right? It's only natural, right? I mean, she came all the way over here. That's clearly what she wanted to happen, right?
feel like knockback is slightly better somehow. I want the ribbon on. I feel like I want the make sure I get the ribbon ahead of the elementalists one, just in case something happens. The elementalists can now die. Oh, the sniper actually kind of wants to do both the elements and the... Thefting is such fun. That's actually fine, because I don't care about either of these items. I definitely like this game, but I kind of like, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm torn, I like the sequel, a lot of the mechanics of the sequel, probably a little better than I like the parts, like, the gameplay of this game I think is less than the sequel, but the story is better in this one than the sequel, so I'm kind of torn. <laughs> but how are you doing tonight? <laughs> or today, or wherever you are. <laughs> I also really like the steel mechanics in this game, because the second game kind of trashed steel. It didn't work well, and well, it, I mean, it, it was more balanced. But that was what made it fun was that it wasn't balanced. <laughs> Monteblanc can reach.
Okay. Kill the summoner if I can. Wanting to steal the armor of the sniper. Well, no, I also want to steal the armor of the red mage, I think. Give me a second. Yeah. Actually, I might just want to steal everything of the red mage. <laughs> How rare golden head hair bands so. are. Okay, armor here for sure. I completely forgot that I had already stolen her weapon, and I'm like, why does she only have a range of one? <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's what stealth theft will do. <laughs> okay, I don't think I want anything from the summoner. Please don't attack, please don't. Okay, good. I'm like, please don't attack, Cody. He has a... He has counter. <laughs> this is actually perfect. As long as I get the armor steal here. everything. I don't think I had anything with a s well... I think the summon is like a Chia staff, which I don't think I use... Yeah, I don't think Chia staff. I think I have one anyway. Uh, I might. If I can get a clean shot at it. <laughs> Dang. Oh. 
I was hoping you would kill that. Oh well. Steal the weapon, just for Hanzis. The fact that you can just take literally everything off of the opponents in this game is just so unbalanced that it's not even funny. <laughs> Like, I get why in the second game they nerfed Steel. Because it is completely broken in this game. But it was so useful for getting things. Oh, I, I forgot to switch the knife. I, I had the wrong knife on him still. I also blatantly cannot unsee. I always, when I was younger, thought this character's name was Donald. I have no clue why. I cannot not think that now. Like, Doned? Doned? I don't know how to say it, but I just, I can't. I cannot look at that. <laughs> Yeah, I I don't know why. Like, young me never knew that character's name was not Donald. And I have just always assumed it was. Until I literally was reading early in the game, right when I was streaming this, that it wasn't. And I was... My world was shattered. <laughs> but how are you doing tonight? <laughs> or today, or wherever you are. <laughs> Yeah, I've... So, I'm basically streaming anything that I have that I wanted to play. Like, my whole goal is no way to stream games that will get, like, popularity and stuff. It's just straight up streaming things that I haven't played in a long time and am wanting to play. <laughs> so, this one got picked. Because I played... The sequel, an absolute ton. I actually played this game. Oh, I forgot that automatically placed itself. I was, like, so convinced I was going to place it somewhere. I had already planned out. <laughs> okay, if I remember right, I should not go there right away.
want to use anyone that I'm going to use for the upcoming mission on that. Faithful Fairy... Uh, the one mission is for Fairy Wing, I think. the skull. What is Black Hat? Okay, what are the laws when I enter this area? Berserk, katanas, and skills. So, I'm torn between the two. So I, I really like the story in this game. I love how broken steel is, even though I understand why it had to be nerfed. Um, but I like a lot of the quality of life things in the second game a lot better, and I like how like the bizarre system set up so I'm like really torn between the two games on which one I like better. I think I give it to the second one just because of the more expanded post-game as well. Uh, I don't want to go in there right now. But I definitely really like both games. Okay. I'm trying to go figure out how to get there so I can get a good that's good I think oh yeah I think this is under attack isn't it, what is it? someone's under attack You're under attack. How many days do I have left on that? <laughs> ah, 30, that's fine. Time for the biggest steel fest of the game. I'm pretty sure there's some secret items in this one. Honestly, the thing I think I, the reason I give the second game the edge is because of the way they handle laws in the second game, where it bent, it rewards you for fo for following them, but if you don't, you don't instantly lose the battle and have all these problems and go to jail and have penalties. You just lose the advantage. With this game, I actually earlier I think it was part six. I actually had a moment where I was just straight soft locked. Because I had, it was a, what, the one-on-one -on -one fight between um, the main character and Babis. And my main character was a ninja at the time. And katanas were against the law. Except I had no katana, I had no mag uh, abilities that could actually win the battle. Because I had steel equipped it as the secondary ability. So I got straight soft locked because of that. Since it was one of the missions where you can walk into, just like this one was. I didn't think about checking laws when I walked in. Okay. Okay, I don't remember who the ones have it, though. Does it show? Oh. Does not, I don't think. Crap. I'm almost certain he does. I'm almost certain this one breaks out one of the good items. The 
the gladiators? Like, I don't want to steal everyone's weapon, but at the same time, I feel like... status. Um, yeah, since I'm not gonna go for killing, she's probably not as good. Oh, this is really awkward, because I don't want to... Should have turned off counters. Crap. <laughs> oh, time to steal stuff. I'm almost certain it's the weapons they're holding. I just don't know remember which ones. See, that's normally a chip, but in this case, I actually don't want that to happen. Because I want to steal all those stuff, so I don't want to kill anyone first. Because <laughs> unfortunately, this game doesn't let me, like, rob dead bodies. <laughs> How are you doing, though? <laughs> I should have turned counter off. Dang it. I don't know which ones have the abil have the items. Good job, attack from distance. That's what I want. Okay, I'm almost certain he does. So I'm almost certain I should steal this weapon and then wait. I don't know who the other one is. I can actually revive them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I never knew I never knew that was going to possibly be useful, but until now, <laughs> if I accidentally kill the wrong person. Yeah, I, I knew there was things you could get stuck without. Okay, actually, did he automatically equip it? Or how does this work?
Yeah, and, and my friend um, borrowed this game a long time ago, and he got stuck at um, 298 of the 300 missions because he ran out of space and threw out an item that he didn't realize he couldn't get back. <laughs> and literally, that was all it took. <laughs> I stole his white one already, right? Okay, he didn't equip one. He can die. Actually, didn't I steal his weapon too? Oh, thank goodness. Wait. But I already stole the pale point from him. Do I have to wait till he keeps pulling out? I think it's coming back. My internet's... Uh, I don't know what's causing it. I'm assuming earlier it was someone downloading an Apple update. So it might be that again. <laughs> Yeah, I, I knew about those, um... Because isn't there a... Like, it's a randomly generated path where, like, there's four different routes or something like that, and you can... And the route you are on doesn't coincide with the other... It has to coincide with another game's route and not your own. Or something along those lines. Oh yeah, I already stole this one.
Yeah, that that would be obnoxious. This guy that needed the weapon. Actually, no, I want to get rid of this gladiator. Because he's not re equipped. gonna steal everything off this guy these people until they gonna have like 20 po blades until this point. Yeah it's basically the you know that it's not complete but the game still gives you credit for hundred percent. Ah that's the wrong one too. I hope I don't have to have a skill to detect it. Wait, I think he might have just equipped It's not like my friend's one where he threw out a key item and couldn't get back couldn't get it back. That was game breaking. <laughs> skill that lets you see if people have hidden things. That's what I was more talking about. I was making sure I didn't have to have the um, detect skill to make it so it showed up.
literally just been walking back and forth with him. Can I reach still now? Okay, he still hasn't equipped it. That's it, right? I think the other one was purple. Maybe. Zod, is it? Once again, my illusionist is not going to be able to hit anything. Well, actually, wait. Could he actually hit something? <gasps> it's a miracle. He's useful. <laughs> This would be like the ultimate... Wait, actually, isn't it? I can't tell if Babis is like completely just convinced because Sid changed his mind. But like, it should come off as just complete lunacy. Like, even though Sid did. <laughs> Like, I feel like Babish could have much easier had just locked him in jail and then had you go see him. And this would have accomplished a much easier, smoother transition than this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Like, Babish seems very much against Mute at this point, even though he's supposedly, like, eternally on his side. <laughs> So yes, but at the same time, it's an extremely dramatic shift. Like, he seems to come to that conclusion very abruptly. Which is more the reason I said, I pointed it out, was he seems to just instantly come to the conclusion that he's delusional, the queen isn't real. It seems way too... He seems way too easy to accept that, is kind of how I'll put it. Okay, I think the helmet's actually something I don't have. The entire reason I made, I learned the entire thief line is for this battle. <laughs> to steal everything. <laughs> Time to run away. Oh. Oh, that was nice. Possibly. I, I don't think there's enough. I think at this point, what well, we would just be doing, um, like, like uh, trying to figure out and read between the lines, because I don't think it ever actually states anything specific. Unless, I know you can recruit Babis after like post game. I just don't remember if he says anything then. I know there's a little bit of post-game with the, the, 
queen slash ghost thing. Where did I think I was going to put the cave? What do I have left? I have the cave, a plains, so if I do plains here, no, cave here. Probably mount. Hmm. Planes are going to have to go here. Cave. <laughs> okay. See, that always kind of confused me how they would actually work that because the, um,. Oh, I can't leave. Because <laughs> you can take some of the missions that would clearly contradict, like, what's going on in the story. Like, I think there were missions where you help Ritz out. And you could take that after you've completed the game. And it would already have this weird, like, complete but not complete feel. <laughs> This is just annoying. <laughs> I just want to treasure hunt. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> all under attack. You, you, and you, okay. So I got all blades and summon. That's fine. I might as well not have Cody in this, because he can't use the thing that makes him useful. Thank you. 
missed. Yep. Because I think that I just had one mission where I assisted Ritz, and at the end of the mission it's like, I might, someday I'm gonna have to convince, or something along the lines of maybe fighting her or convincing her. And I realized, you can, there's nothing stopping you from not doing that mission until the post game. <laughs> Which would mean all of that has already taken place. I'd suspected that was gonna happen. <laughs> oh well. I think it's the mission right before the final fight. Because I think you convince your brother beforehand. If I'm remembering right, and I honestly, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But I thought you convinced your brother, like, in the next mission or the second or two missions from now. And then Ritz is, like, right before. I do think that is the outcome that happens. She's basically like... She won't stop you from doing it. Ritz's story always bothered me, though, because I felt like she had the weakest attachment. Like, the re her rationale, I just never... I wouldn't say bought into, but it just seemed a lot weaker. Like, Mute's like, home life was terrible. Um, he lost his mother, he was bullied all the time. Uh, Donald, which I'm always called Donald because he, I, I always thought it was Donald. Yeah, the final fight is... yeah, two separate things. I don't remember, honestly. It's been quite a long time since I played the second game. I'm, since I played the first game. I played the second game a lot more often. Because I know there's not many missions left. Because I think... I'll check when I finish this one up. But I think that was mission 20, if I remember right. I think I did 18... I think I've done 18, 19, and 20 now. And I think there's only 24. That's true. But still, I... 
even then, I feel like... Like, the other two, at least, I feel like had a stronger. I'm not necessarily discrediting it. Yeah, because that makes sense. Um... But I feel like it would be harder to have this, like, refusal, where she, like, completely... Of course he failed. Hey, summon stop. Okay. Mission list. Wait, no. Point. Okay, so there are four missions left of the main story. And this obviously is the last. So I forget how they do it. So, I can't remember if the last mission is both mission 23 and 24. Or if it's just mission 24 broken up into like three different spots. Or two or three different spots. So I think it's probably just 24. So, one of these is convincing Donald, one of these is convincing Ritz, and one of these is just random. And I'm pretty sure you... Don... Donned. I'm pretty sure you convinced Donned before Ritz. So Ritz is this... one of these two. This will be the final. So yeah, there's one other mission in here. I'm half tempted to just let these places fall and then deal with them, the dispatch mission later. Yeah. I think it's back. <laughs> I think it's good, probably. <laughs> Yes, things have happened on my still I am. <laughs> yeah, my internet's deciding to throw a tantrum. So if you have played both of these games, like, if you've played all the Tactics games... Because I feel like... Wh which one do you prefer, would you say? Because I think I definitely do have a preference one way. But I'm not sure... It, I, most people I talk to seems to have the same opinion, but that's kind of curious. <laughs> Complete overkill.
Yeah. Yeah, the character sprite limitations is kind of... I wish there was a lot more character diversity in just... <laughs> in general. <laughs> like, you have a lot of the new characters in the second one of this one. Like, the Tactics Advance 2. It's been forever since I played uh, War of the Lions, so I honestly can't tell you much about it. <laughs> like, I don't think I remember enough to make an opinion on it. Oh, wow. Can I safely throw out? I know I can throw out Adamantide. Oh, nice. One that's still under a um, thing is this, right? Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> not mentioned that clans. Um. Okay, he's still learning that. Oh, I mass installed us a while ago, probably. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I definitely need to play that. The only problem is, is, um... I don't know if I have a way to play it. <laughs> because I don't think I have the PSP anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that does full life and auto life. Can you learn that? Giga Flare Media. Sages. Um, actually, either one, it doesn't really matter. Go Sage first. This is a stupid little pet peeve. I wish things stayed attached. <laughs> I would be so much more off to say I like this game better than the sequel if little things like that worked. <laughs> okay. Holy Stop and Berserk. I 
Oh, I learn. Do I finish learning this? Yeah, I have. Yeah. So the story of the sequel is not good. <laughs> like, just straight up, the story is not good. But I think the gameplay is probably better. Like, and it's just the quality of life little stuff. <laughs> like, the laws not being, like, so crappy. Because I got, st I'm not sure I, if I said this when you were here or not, I got stuck in a, one of the missions where it just begins when you walk into the town. I got stuck on one of those where literally the combination of my, of my abilities was such that I could not beat it. I was literally soft-locked into the mission. Yeah. Yeah. If you pretend that the second game... Um, ...is in a vacuum... <laughs> ...and nothing else exists... I think from a gameplay standpoint, it's a very solid one. Again, don't don't pay attention to basically any of the story. Like the main story, I think it's weird. The main story, I think, is not very good. But I think that the like side stories in the get in the thing are actually pretty well done. Complete overkill. Yeah, again, it's really bad if you're trying to form a timeline, and it's really bad. Um, honestly, it's it's main plot. I just don't think it's very good. Like, regardless of trying to fit the timeline stuff, I just don't think it's main plot's overly strong. I still haven't switched the weapon off. Okay. I have to do that. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, the, I, I think I've told this with one of my friends, where the game I think would just be overall better if they just, if it was almost reskinned to not include any of the, any characters. Like, if you just modded it to have unique characters, the game would be, I think, significantly better than this one. As long as you just made it so, pretend it was its own little universe. Because yeah, if you if you try to do the story and everything, it's not very good. <laughs> like in a standalone vacuum game, I think it's better than this one by virtue of quality of life changes that makes the gameplay better and more expansive. But because of how bad its story is, eh, <laughs> it's it's I'm on the fence between the two. Like, I still think its gameplay overall is better polished than this one. Simply because of limitations of the Game Boy Advance versus the DS, but... Uh, 
anyway. Uh, who failed some of these? Oh, I can actually do this one. Anyone want to volunteer? You do. I, I don't mind how they did it, though, where it, like, rewarded you. It's, it, like, rewarded you for complying versus punishing you immensely. <laughs> like, I don't mind that element of it. Yeah, so the permadeath thing, on my very first th playthrough of this, I didn't realize perma- like, I didn't read. So, like, I, I played it just, like, literally spamming A the whole time. Um, I didn't realize there'd be permadeath. Yes, I had Monteblanc die. Like, I accidentally went on that route because I didn't read it. And Montada died in that mission. So I am the reason that path had to be done. Because I killed Montablanc without realizing it. I honestly don't remember exactly what happens. I think so, maybe. I don't. I don't remember because it was my first time playing through the game, and I was younger back then, and I didn't pay attention that closely. I never used Monteblanc anyway. I think I got stuck with him because I had a bunch of dispatch missions out, so he was like super underleveled and died right away. But anyway, I'm gonna call this for the night. I think I've been going four and a half hours now, and I only planned on going like three, but I had a lot of momentum going, so I just kept going. <laughs> I was feeling good. I wanted to do... My plan is that I wanted to do... Going into day, I had uh, mission 18, 19, 20, and then these four left, and I wanted to do it in one stream have three of them, and then two others have two to finish out the main game, main series. Um, so since I've accomplished three, I think I'm gonna call it for the night. Um, I I try to make it so I only do I do all of the main missions, like fighting missions, on stream and dispatch and grindy crap off stream. So maybe tomorrow. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Depends how what goes. Um, but I'm going to call it for the night. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by, and have a good one. <laughs>